hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn how to send a mail in PHP using Swift mailer okay so guys now let's get started so first up guys we are going to create a contact.php file and in that file we'll be creating a simple contact form okay so first up guys let us uh, type the URL here like contact.php hit enter and you see not found okay so the file is not found so now guys let's get back to our editor so guys i have opened my project here let me just show you so this is my path here fund of byt and send mail and now i am here so guys let's get back and now let's create a file so contact.php and here is the file let me just type hello here and see the output refresh perfect so hello has come and now guys let us set up a simple contact form so guys let's get started very quickly so to use the ui i am going to use the bootstrap go to the getbootstrap.com go to the docs and so just select with this and copy this complete code and paste here that's it done so now guys let us set up the basic things like how to send mail in php using swift mailer okay so let me just copy this and paste in this h1 tag so yep and now let me create a simple container with the margin top 5 and now you can get started with the card so card then card header with the bg primary and and then in a h4 tag like how to send mail i mean just copy and paste this that's it and change it to h4 now card body okay and guys done so now uh, let me just add a text white here because primary is blue and now guys let's begin with the form so start with the form tag action and method is going to be post method and now margin bottom three a simple label label let me remove this form and this type full name and a simple input box with the form control okay here is the spelling mistake it's form control and now let's add a name attribute with the name like full underscore name and let's copy this completely and paste below below again below okay so now full name is done then email id here email let me change this type to email then either you can put phone number or subject so let me add a subject here change this to subject and finally a message area so message let me remove this add a text area tag and here class form hyphen control then row equal to three and name it's going to be message done and now guys uh, let me add a simple button like button button uh, sub submit then type submit name equal to submit contact and let's design this button button hyphen primary okay so yep so this is my form tag guys complete form and this action is going on send mail dot php file and now guys let's see the output so yep let's get back refresh perfect so here is the form guys clear and now guys let's start with the coding part on the swift mailer cool so guys once you click on the submit button you go to the send mail that is action okay send mail.php file let's create it so here file is created and now guys in this we have to write the code for sending mail so guys we are going to use a swift mailer so let's get back to our browser and search for swift mailer okay hit enter and here is the first link guys which goes to the swift mailer documentation and here so i think they are not providing a download option but here they have 
told us you can install it okay via composer so guys let us see we have installed composer or not so you can just go to your editor and press ctrl tilde symbol or else you can here in this three dots terminal and new terminal okay and now guys you can just like type composer hyphen v which is capital v and here it's the link that is composer version you have in download or and install on your system with this so guys if you don't find this uh make sure you are downloading it so let me just tell you how to download like composer install okay and here is the download composer latest version download and here is the download button composer setup.exe file just download and next 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 installed in your windows that's it guys so once installed you can finally say this version part okay so now let me just get back to our documentation and install this swift mailer package so right click and let me hit enter so it starts the installation so here you see once the installation start it creates a composer.json file and also the log file with the one vendor folder inside that all the packages whatever it's installing okay so yep guys here you see that the package is successfully installed library now let me close the terminal and we are good to start with the sending mail so guys here you see that basic usage here they have given so you can just copy this complete basic usage part and paste inside your send mail so before pasting this you have to open php and close php so open php and close php and inside this you paste the code that's it and now guys here path to the vendor so send mail is in the root folder itself directory so i will just directly give vendor auto load.php inside this auto load.php it's called perfect so my path is configured now so guys let us set up the complete configurations so first here guys we have to set up with the uh, what host you are going so let me just add smtp.gmail.com okay so we are going to use gmail credentials here and it is the port and there is also for the uh, smtps and smtp tls okay so here you can set that so if you want to give the 587 code then you can provide this tls part and now guys here is the set username and set password so guys if you don't know to create a gmail app password please watch out the video link given in the description how to set up the gmail app password okay so i will just enter my credentials here fund of webit at gmail.com this is my email id and and here we paste so this is my gmail app password so swift mailer transport is done and now guys let's see with the creating mailer using transport so here mailer starts and now coming to the message area so here you have to set all the message part so guys here you see in this uh, function you have passed the wonderful subject so we will not use in this way instead we will directly set up it so set subject function okay and inside this you can set your function directly okay so new inquiry from contact form so you got the subject now and same way you have to set where from from whom you are getting to whom you have to send so basically i'm sending from this fund of web by t so i'll just add this and here instead of john doe fund of web it itself and to whom you are sending let me just give some spaces so i want to send it back to me because it's a contact form guys okay so whoever submit this contact it should come on my email id itself so i'll be setting to my email id itself so copy and paste here and let me remove this extra thing i mean extra email id not required and here if you want to set up the name also guys just add in this way like arrow function then set the name so funda of web it okay and then finally you have to set the body so set body is directly is taking as a plain text so if you want to send a mail in html format you have to add 
give comma and single quotes text forward slash HTML okay and here let's remove this completely and tell here body content okay now you can create before this variable like dollar body content equal to and paste your content here so now guys i want to send a html part like so you can use h3 i mean yes you got new inquiry and hit enter and again open h4 tag add the full name colon and get your variables okay so let me just tell here like full name email subject and message okay so now where are the exact data so we have to get it so when you submit this form okay once you click on this button you are going to send a send mail.php on this action so let's go and check that whether the button is clicked or not so user if condition open and close curly brace and with the help of is that function dollar underscore post of your button if it is clicked then you will be coming in and working with this code let me push inside and close the curly brace after the send mail code okay and here let's get the full name variable dollar underscore post method so you are getting all this field name full name email subject and message okay so full name so email subject message okay make sure you are inputting the correct spelling guys so yep so now guys you can copy this and append here in single quotes dot dot and concatenate that's it so now let me copy this paste for other fields here and now let's change the variable which is email then subject and finally a message done so our body content also is ready which is in html format and here you have set it that so once uh, the message is ready you are going to send using this send function so now guys let us use a if condition to redirect back on the page so use a if condition if result is true else fails okay so in this condition use header function location colon uh, i want to redirect back to the same page i mean previous page so you can use the dollar server okay php variable and double quote http referrer that's it and now let's exit of zero and before this i want to show a message using session so add a session of set the session as status and here add the message in single quotes or double quotes it depends on you so thank you for contacting us team funda of funda of web it okay done so same way guys just copy this and paste for the else condition and here add something when wrong while sending mail okay and it goes back to the same page and here guys if someone directly comes in this page just add the else condition and use only this two we do not need to show the message okay so direct redirect him to the index.php page that's it so guys if you are using a session make sure you start the session at top of your page session underscore start and now guys we'll be redirecting back to the contact page and here we are using session so we have to start the session to show the message in the contact page so go to your contact.php open php close php start the session session underscore start function 
and now guys let us use some uh, sweet alert to show the messages or you can use bootstrap alert also not an issue so i prefer using a uh, sweet alert like it's more user friendly so let's go to the sweet alert website sweet alert and yep let's click here and here is the installation so let's copy this cdn link jquery and now guys if you are using a uh, jquery codes and all then you have to get the jquery cdn link jquery cdn link so let me copy this minified let's control c and paste here so guys you do not require this cross engine and integrity let me just remove so we are set and now guys let's write the script to show the message so a simple create a variable message text equal to open echo and close php part so now use a dollar session of status okay so what you have set if it is not set then just return empty and now guys with this help of uh, text message text if it is not empty then show the message here okay so how will you show the message let me just show you in the sweet alert part so let's click on this examples and here you see we'll go with the second option so let's copy this and paste here so all set and now guys on this the internet let me tell here thank you and here the original message let's remove and tell here message text whatever you have set here and then instead of i can question add success so once you have shown the message let us unset this message so just below this open php close php user unset function and unset that all set guys and now we are good to test so yep let's get back so refresh and now let me just show you here mail so there is no mails currently and let's add here ved ved at gmail.com subject testing for swift mailer okay so same message area also okay now let's submit okay so we have clicked on submit button it's loading guys okay perfect so we see that we have got the mail but we did not get any alert okay so sweet alert thing let me just show you cool so we have uh, you got new inquiry and here are the details guys which is coming in a html format so why did not load the sweet alert so what's the issue here so i see guys that we have not pasted this in a string so let me add inside the double code so it will understand okay so if you don't add it you will get a warning something in your inspect console log let me just see see that uh, you have unexpected syntax error unexpected so yep now refresh and let me just show you so you have no error in your console log and now guys let us test again so with prakash here with at gmail.com uh, second email uh, mail to testing and now let's submit here perfect so thank you thank you for contacting us team fund of web it perfect so we have got a new inquiry guys again and here is the detail so guys we have successfully completed how to send a mail using swift mailer okay so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share